going on everybody welcome back to the channel so many of you guys were saying that this is the movie this is the point where harry potter gets dark i looked it up i think there's a different director or producer someone different is involved from this point on which makes it dark and spicy like a peruvian puff pepper that was weird emphasis so in order to get prepared for the darkness that we're about to embark on i've been staying up for 37 hours straight watching nothing but Dahmer. never jeffrey jeffrey i hate you mother yeah, and people tell me I don't take my job seriously. You see what I'm doing to get prepared for this? But I am really excited for Prisoner of Azkaban because I've been thoroughly enjoying this journey. It's been pretty cool. In a weird way, I'm really glad that I haven't seen Harry Potter up to this point because it makes me appreciate it a little bit more. And I understand a lot, well, Nah, well, I guess we won't go that far. And guys, before we get started, I'd like to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. True, true Classic! True Classic! Oh my god. Oh my god. Every time you're gonna do this when we have a sponsorship? Yeah, dude, did you see the last video? I crushed it. People loved me. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty true. Right? Okay, fine. But just like the last video, after the ad, you're gone. Okay, totally fair, man. Guys, what's going on today? The sponsor is True Classic for today's video. Very fitting. I mean, look at Junior's clothes right here. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean? Look at your shirt. Oh my God, what's wrong with this shirt? Who are you trying to beat? Dylan's in trouble? Guys, these shirts are incredible, right? I love how buttery soft they are. They remind me of my grandmama's home cooking. They're biscuits. Yeah. Yo, sounds super suggestive, dude. What are you talking about, dude? Get your mind out of the gutter. Spend enough time there shopping anyway. Hey, what? <laughs> are you are you wearing a true classic shirt right now? Hell yeah. Damn, that actually looks pretty good. It's it well. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. And guys, check out all these different colors they have. They even got hoodies. The way that these shirts fit and feel, you have way more confidence than Junior over here. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What? You I have confidence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, guys, these shirts are designed for men, meaning they accentuate your shoulders, your arms, they give you a lot of confidence, you know what I'm saying? Accentuate? Yeah, dude, it's a word, okay? Crack a book. I mean, Jesus, even if you look like a newborn baby giraffe, hell? like, dude over you here. You feel better about yourself? Rather than insulting me, tell them how they can save money and look better. Okay, guys, click the link at the top of the description, use the code, and you can get 25% off your order. You didn't even tell them what the code is. Oh, yeah. You always forget that part. Yeah. <laughs> the code is Hefner. It's good for 30 days, so make sure you use Thank it. Thank you, True Classic, for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> make Each sure this time you suck. Shut up. Make sure you use it within the 30 days. Link at the top of the description. Use the promo code Hefner and True Classic. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Makes me feel like I should be wearing a scarf. See what it looks like. <laughs> no. We already did that once. All right. No, we don't need that. I will have it on the back of the chair, though. Okay, y'all ready? I'm so excited for this. A lot of y'all say that this one is your favorite movie. That'd be sick. Harry, what are you doing under that blanket? What the hell? What is this wisdom two shaped man doing? I, I see, he bugs the shit out of me just because how badly he treats Harry. Super annoying. Lumos Maxima! Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> Uncle Vernon, I need you to sign this form. Later, perhaps, if you behave. What? Oh, you're still here, are you? Yes. Dude, that's the Trunchbull from Matilda. She, okay, yeah, if you like this dumbass kid, and I question your judgment. She always plays like the scariest, bitchiest woman ever. I wonder how that makes her feel. I think her name's Pam Ferris. How do I know that, but I haven't seen this movie. Usually just a fry up for me, what, with 12 dogs? <laughs> oh, that's a boy. Come on, mama's a hefty one. Pour mama a drink, yeah. Where is it you send the boy, Vernon? St. Brutus's. It's a fine institution for hopeless cases. They use a cane at St. Brutus's, boy? Well, you're a peach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been beaten loads of times. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what is it the boy's father did for Junior? He didn't work. He was, he was unemployed. And a drunk, too, no doubt. That's a lie. Yeah, you're the drunk. You're getting heavy as hell on the poor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, don't trust Petunia. I have a very firm grip. My, ask my husband. He's been to the hospital four times. 
What? It's nothing to do with the father. It's always to do with the mother. If there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! If there's something wrong with the bitch, there's something wrong with the pup. Fuck off. Oh. Oh. Damn. All right, well, we're getting cankled out. Ah, oh, dude, it's popping the seams. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you little shit. You deserve that. <laughs> I don't know why I like children getting hurt. Oh, God, woman, no one wants to see your bloomers. I've got you, Marge. I've got you. Marge. Large Marge. Don't you dare. Sorry. Oh. Every movie Vernon falls from a very high height. <laughs> it's great. Good, good. Of course you're still eating. You bring it back now and you put it right. No, keep away from me. You're not allowed to do magic outside school. Yeah, try me. They won't let you back now. You've nowhere to go. I don't care. Anyway, it's better than here. That is cool. Finally stood up to Vernon's dumbass. Plus, I'd be like, yeah, well, guess what? I'm gonna do magic to make you forget. So suck yourself, Vernon. Scoundrel of a man. Okay. Got some weird horror movie vibes going on. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What? Holy shit. What you doing down there? Fell over. What you fell over for? I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> well, come on then. Let's not wait for the grass to grow. <laughs> I like that when people say, let's not wait for something. What you waiting for, Santa Claus, to pick out some knickers for missus? Come on! Take her away, Ern. Yeah, take it oh. away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> What the hell? We have a talking shrunken head. Hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before I eat you. <laughs> what? This bus system is not affiliated with Hogwarts, is it? Seems sketchy as hell. Ernie, little old lady at 12 o'clock. <laughs> oh my god. Who is that? That is Sirius Black, that is. Serious Black? Sounds like a band. Got himself locked up in Azkaban. How did he escape? Well, that's the question, isn't it? He's the first one that done it. He was a big supporter of... You know who. Voldemort? Him I've heard of. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Mr. Potter. At last. Ew. Take her away, huh? Yeah, take it away, huh? <laughs> okay, it gave me weird vibes at first, but I actually kind of like those bus folk. I like them bus folk. Earlier this evening, your uncle's sister was located in certain chimney stack. The accidental <laughs> magic reversal department was dispatched immediately. She will have no recollection of the incident and no harm done. Peace out. Oh, God. Underage wizards aren't allowed to use magic at home. Oh, come now, Harry. The Ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. <laughs> I, I, I do things and almost forget that they're going to be online, memorialized for the rest of eternity. Now, Tom will show you to your room. Tom is unsettling and, and on the border of very frightening, but he seems like an okay guy. I don't know. The monster book of monsters? Ew. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, that one wasn't bad. Jesus. The book itself is a monster. Ew. What is it? It's like a, a a book and a tarantula mixed. Housekeeping. I'll come back later. Aw, oh, she didn't deserve that. It's a cat, Ronald. What do you expect? Is that what they told you? Looks more like a pig with Ew. hair, if you ask me. Ron, That's... why are you holding a rat, dude? Harry. Harry. It's so weird how fast they're growing up. Keep in mind, y'all grew up with these, ki with these kids, right? Y'all all progress at the same age. I'm the same age every one of these movies and I'm watching them grow up. It's crazy. Oh, just see you, dear. Good to see you too. 
Now you've got everything you need. Yep. I love Mrs. Weasley, dude. She's the best. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. Yeah, sure. You are in danger. Grave danger. What is Sirius Black coming after him? What do you know about Sirius Black, Harry? Only that he's escaped from Azkaban. Do you know why? 13 years ago, when you stopped Voldemort. Don't say his name. Sorry. <laughs> why is it a thing to not say his name? Does it give him more? Mm. He has escaped from Azkaban. Great. To find you. Ex-murderers. I guess, no, probably not ex. Yeah, that was a stupid thing. Murderers getting loose, wanting to find Harry. Great. You won't go looking for Black. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? To find that boy first and to kill him. Oh, run, run! Okay, there's something about the... Ew, dude. Why the fuck would you want one of them cellar mice? Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Do you think he's really asleep? Seems to be. Why? I've got to tell you something. Okay, don't... The dude's not sleeping. Don't you know on trains and planes and buses people pretend to sleep to listen to conversation? Maybe that's just me. Let me get this straight. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. Yeah, he's a murderous, raving lunatic. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. <laughs> Why are we stopping? There's something moving out there. Nothing. Someone's coming. Oh. oh my god, dude. I'm jumpy, bro. Listening to movies with headphones on is a different type of a movie experience, let me tell you. <gasps> no, I don't know what that means. It just seems important. What the fuck? Oh. Is that, is that Sirius Black, or is that just a devil spirit? What the hell? Oh my god, he's sucking Harry's... What? He's sucking out Harry's soul. That didn't sound any better. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here, eat this. It'll help. It's all right. It's chocolate. What was that thing? It was a Dementor. Dementor? He was searching the train for Sirius Black. Wait, so why was he trying to get Harry sucked up? Eat. You'll feel better. Dude, I would love some chocolate. I'm gonna go get some after this movie. Maybe I'll get some now. And did either of you two pass out? No. I felt weird though. Like I'd never be cheerful again. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. But someone was screaming. A woman. No one was screaming, Harry. I want to know if Hermione and Ron are thinking that, like, Harry's just got some special ability, uh, an ability to, like, hear things that other people don't, or if they're like, dude, this guy's batshit crazy. Okay, but then again, we're in a choir concert with floating candles and everybody is holding fucking forest frogs. So I, so I don't think that Harry's behavior would be the strangest thing they've ever seen. Jesus, those are big. First, I'm pleased to welcome Professor R.J. Lupin to fill the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Yeah, because the other one was a Donald. Potter, is it true you fainted? <sighs> Shut up, Malfoy. If you saw what Harry saw, you'd have shit running down your leg. Hogwarts will, until further notice, play host to the Dementors of Azkaban. Until such Great. time as Sirius Black is captured. A word of caution. Dementors are vicious creatures. They will not distinguish between the one they hunt and the one who gets in their way. Oh, God. Yeah, then let's set them up in school with children. It is not in the nature of a Dementor to be forgiving. <laughs> it sounds like a pretty bad plan. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. That's a cryptic-ass message. Fortuna Major. <laughs> Fortuna Major. Is this like an until the fat lady sings type of joke? <laughs> Jesus, woman. You need a new hobby. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> My boy is a green. That's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What the hell? <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. I want that. Although if I did, it'd be a damn mouse. Is that like the magic version of sitting around with your friends, passing around a joint? It's like you eat jelly beans that make you sound like zoo animals. You know, talking about the darkness real quick that y'all said was in this movie. I'm sure we haven't even come close to seeing it. Although there was a 
dark demonic spirit trying to kill Harry. But it's like the colors of the movie are dark as fuck too. I feel like in the first two movies, it was all bright and colorful. Now it's kind of just like doom and gloom. I am Professor Trelawney. Together we shall cast ourselves into the future. Reading tea leaves, so please take the cup of the person sitting opposite you. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> Where did you come from? Been here all this time. This woman looks like she's got seven dresses made of wheat. Harry's got sort of a wonky cross. That's trials and suffering. Mm. And uh, that there could be the sun. And that's happiness. You're gonna suffer, mm. but you're gonna be happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible uh, reading. You have the grim. It's among the darkest omens in our world. Oh, God. It's an omen of death. Oh, God. That's not possible. Ancient rooms on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? What, did you clone yourself or something? I got a real treat for you today. Hagrid, great lesson. You look dope, dude. I'll open your books at page 49. Exactly how do we do that? We'll just stroke the spine, of course. Yeah, Malfoy, stroke the spine, buddy. You look like Aaron Carter, my guy. Demental, demental! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Quick, let's all put our hoods up at the same time. It looks nice. <laughs> Fuck you, Malfoy. Isn't he <gasps> beautiful? Oh. Say hello to Buckbeat. Buckbeat? No. Who'd like to come and say hello? Well done, Harry. Well done. <laughs> Step up. Give him a nice bow. Then you wait and see if he bows back. Keep still. <gasps> oh. Aww. Well done, Harry. Well done. Wait, go pet him then, right? You can go and pat him now. Yeah! Oh, dude, I just want to give him a hug. He looks like a terrifying creature, but I, I want to give him scratches. Beep beep. Hmm. Oh, not so fast, Harry. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, okay. Yes. Well uh, done. Oh, well done, Harry. I think he may let you ride him now. What? Come on. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Come on, hop up there, yep. Joint. <laughs> you touched the bird, now I want you to mount him and ride around the sky. Hagrid, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Yo, that's cool. The rays of sun coming through the sky. Oh, that's sick. What is this hippograph? Hippo hippogif? Would you guys want to ride one of these or a dragon? I'd probably pick a dragon, honestly. But this is still fucking cool. See the large talons? Dude, what a shot. That is sick. Ah, oh, Malfoy, you're gonna get yourself all butt hurt and try to ride this thing. He's gonna snap your neck off. Yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? Yeah! That's killed me. It's killed me. <laughs> Calm down. It's, it's just a scratch. Hagrid, he has to be taken to the hospital. I'm the teacher. I'll do it. Uh. Malfoy, you dumbass. Uh, he's not dangerous. Come here, bro. What'd you think was gonna happen? Aww. He's been sighted, he's been sighted. Who? Serious Black. Dufftown? That's not far from here. Black could be anywhere. It's like trying to catch smoke. Like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. What was this experience like for you guys? When you watched Harry Potter growing up, was it like something probably that was really cool and that you liked it, but did it scare the shit out of you? Cause this shit is like, I feel like it could be really scary for a kid. Look at that, he just walks by and shit dies. Now can anybody tell me what a boggart? <laughs> Ron, unclench, you're gonna be fine. When'd she get here? Boggarts are shapeshifters. They take the shape of whatever a particular person fears the most. <gasps> Oh God. Oh my God, dude. Mine would be a spider or a giant fucking roach. Or if we want to get really deep, it would be the best version of myself. Ridiculous. 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 Class is ridiculous. Very good. Malfoy, shut the hell up. Annoying ass kid. You need to force it to assume a shape you find truly amusing. Let me explain. 
Uh, Neville, will you join me, please? <laughs> Neville, what frightens you most of all? Professor Snape. Professor Snape. <laughs> yeah. Frightens us all. <laughs> Professor Snape in his grandmother's clothes. Think, Neville, think. That is a terrifying think presence. <laughs> Someone busts into Snape's room, that's what he's doing. It's like, what? why are you in Victorian ass clothes, dude? What's happening? The thing they fear the very <laughs> most. Dude, that's a hell of a hat. <laughs> Dude, uh, last night, I swear to God, I had a dream about massive spiders. I swear to God, it was terrifying. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's still terrifying. See, I'm not as afraid of snakes as I am spiders. Ridiculous. Oh God, that's terrifying. What's Harry's biggest fear? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah! the same thing that was on the bus. Alright, well, Damn. sorry about that. Uh, that's enough for today. That's the end of the lesson. Thank you. Oh, shit. What did that mean? I assumed it would take the shape of Lord Voldemort. I did think of Voldemort at first, but then I remembered that night on the train. Before I fainted, I heard something. A woman screaming. Was it his mom? I think it was my mother. Then I actually was murdered. Your mother was there for me at a time when no one else was. She was also an uncommonly kind woman. This dude was in love with her, right? And your father, James, on the other hand, he had a certain, shall we say, talent for trouble. Ah, Harry's mom liked the bad boy type. You're more like them than you know, Harry. In time, you'll come to see just how much. He's like, your mama's eyes had a sparkle. It's like the first time I heard Seal. When I look at your eyes, it brings that magic back. What? Professor, get to the story. What's going on? Probably Neville's forgotten the password again. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Aww. Neville gets the shit out of the stick. Why? That makes sense. The fat lady, she's gone. Mr. Filch. Oh, God, those nails. Dumbledore, wash your hands, my guy. Maybe trim them. Oh, oh, Jesus. He's here! Somewhere in the castle! Sirius Black! <laughs> Secure the castle, Mr. Filch. That's <laughs> so many locks, my god. What about Potter? Should he be warned? Perhaps, but for now, let him sleep. You see, pretending to sleep to get information based on other people's conversations. Let them swim in the deepest ocean or glide over the highest cloud. He's like, yo, I hear y'all. Warn me about what? No time to dream, we got demons trying to kill me. Oh, god. That would be awesome if trees did that. Turn to page 394. I like Snape. He's got a weird negative energy about him, but I like him. Werewolves? But sir, we've just begun learning about red caps and hinky punks. We're not- Hinky punks? Quiet. When did she come in? Did you see her come in? <laughs> Ron, you've been smoking blunts? Like, what is happening? An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. He no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Oh! <laughs> Shut Thank up, you. Malfoy! How many times do I have to say that? Miss Granger, are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? Oh, shit. He's got a point, you know. <laughs> He's got a point, yes. Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Loss of limb will not excuse you. Okay. If I had to smoke with anybody in Hogwarts, Snape would be high on the list. 100%. Werewolf man. Malfoy, you need to clear yourself, buddy. <laughs> Damn, playing Quidditch, rain or shine? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? How did Malfoy know that was gonna happen? Does that happen? What is happening? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Why are they out here? Oh god. Arresto momentum! He looks a bit peaky. How are you feeling? 
Oh, brilliant. You gave us a right good scare there, mate. Well, you fell off your broom. No one blames you, Harry. The Dementors aren't supposed to come inside the grounds. Dumbledore was furious. Something else you should know too, Harry. What? Well, so. Aww. He's got all the money in the world, just buy another one. What's the big deal? I'm scared, Professor. Well, I'd consider you a fool if you weren't. I need to know how to fight them. You could teach me. He shined light on it, right? Damn, look at that scene right there, dude. That's sick. Perhaps I should teach you. But after the holidays. Harry's life is at stake, dude. What are you gonna do? Sit around eating Christmas bonbons and stroking off? Like... All right. Snowman. I have never built a snowman in my entire life. Have y'all legitimately built a snowman? I've done a snow angel. It looked like shit, but I did it. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says? The Marauder's map. We own so much. I don't get it. What is it? Is that really Dumbledore? Any study? Pacing. Does that a lot. <gasps> Whoa. So you mean this map shows everyone? Everyone? Whoa. Every minute of every day. Brilliant. That's a total invasion of privacy, but it's very cool. When you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Uh-oh. Dude, that gets in the wrong hands. That is not good. And something tells me that's going to happen. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, that makes me want candy, dude. What the, why? What the hell was that? Was that? Did a spirit just go get a lollipop? Boys, I think it's time we teach Weaselby. How to respect his superiors. Malfoy, you look like you're from the Soviet Union, dude. How dare you talk to me? You filthy little mudblood. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, is it Harry under the blanket? Or what's happening? Do something! What? Do what? And they're coming out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Malfoy? Let's just skip. <laughs> Malfoy's such a little bitch, dude. Harry! <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. That was not funny. That was awesome. The way that he managed to stay under the blanket while doing all that is actually pretty impressive. We have a killer on the loose. Oh, Sirius Black, he honks me. And what will bring him here? Harry Potter. Why does everybody know this and they're not telling Harry about it? Wouldn't, like, what the fuck? Harry! Oh, oh. I say, no one plays wizards allowed in today. Shut the damn door! Ew, what is up with these shrunken heads, dude? Tell me what this is all about. Well, now years ago, when Harry Potter's parents went into hiding, mm -hmm. few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you knew who. Not only did Black, I but he also killed one of their friends, Peter Pettigrew. Black was vicious. He didn't kill Pettigrew. He destroyed him. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? It all was left a finger. Nothing else. Black was and remains to this day Harry Potter's godfather. What? His godfather helped uh, killed some, killed the Potter's friend and helped Voldemort kill him too? What the fuck? Harry, what happened? He was that friend! I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. Oh, damn. Harry's When he does, pissed. I'm going to kill him. Jesus, Harry. Okay, Hermione and Ron gotta be thinking now. It's like, dude, Harry's going a little off the handles, right? I mean, it's justified, but still, Jesus. Your friend just said he wants to murder someone. Something like a shield with a Dementor feeding on it rather than him. Oh, perfect. Okay. You need to think of a memory, a very happy memory, a very powerful memory. Expecto Patronum. My guys just got candles made of vertebrae. It's just spine candles. It's really weird. <laughs> They get thrown right into the deep end with these lessons. Here we go. Come on. What were you thinking? Which memory did you choose? First time I rode a broom. Well, that's not good enough. Not nearly good enough. Probably got to be a memory with your with your mom or something. You feel ready? Just do it. If that little clip right there isn't a Nike commercial, I'll be very upset. Just do it. Expecto Patronum! Damn, that's so cool. <laughs> well done, Harry. I think you would have given your father a run for his money. And that is saying something. I was thinking of him and mum, seeing their faces. That's the memory I chose. I don't even know if it's real, but it's the best I have. Wow. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ron, that's a terrible sweater, dude. Change it, please. How'd it go, Hagrid? 
the hearing. <laughs> that tie, Jesus. Lucius Malfoy got up. Well, you can imagine, he said, that Buckbeak was a deadly and dangerous creature who would kill you as soon as look at you. <laughs> How about your son's a fucking idiot? Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. <gasps> what? Are you serious? <sighs> Oh, dude, that's some weird sadistic Game of Thrones shit where they kill the dire wolf. No! Dude, that's cool. Keeping tabs on everybody. Peter Pettigrew? I thought... Peter Pettigrew? Little Uncle the Boy. Oh. Wait, I thought he was killed. Oh, there's just the pinky left. Oh, that's the fucking... That was the damn lollipop floating around. Was there a pinky there? Is there literally gonna be a pinky floating in the sky? Oh, Peter said, fuck that. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Potter. I was sleepwalking. How extraordinarily like your father you are, Potter. He too was exceedingly arrogant. <laughs> strutting about the castle. My dad didn't strut. Harry, he strutted around here like he paid rent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Read it. Offer their compliments to Professor Snape and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Well, you insolent little... Professor. Snape, you got a big ass nose. <laughs> I seriously doubt it, Severus. It looks to me as though it's merely a parchment designed to insult anyone who tries to read it. It's... <laughs> Harry, would you come with me, please? Every single movie, it adds a little bit more attention to the dynamic between Snape and Harry. And I'm so curious as to know why the hell does Snape not like Harry? Why? I need to know. You know, your father and your mother gave their lives to save yours. Wandering around the castle with a killer on the loose seems to me a pretty poor way to repay them. I will not cover up for you again, Harry. Do you hear me? It's a badass piece of parchment. Earlier on, it showed someone in the castle. Someone I know to be dead. Oh, really? Who might that be? Peter Pettigrew. That's not possible. Well, crack the map and look at it, Professor. Ron didn't give a fuck about this. Do you mind me trying? Uh, you may be young in years, but the heart that beats beneath your bosom is as shriveled as an old man's. Your soul is Why are we talking about her bosom? Her mind is pissed about that. You I mean, fuck this stupid ass ball and this whack job teacher. Why don't you go eat your kale and your buckwheat? Have I said something? <sighs> I'm gonna go stop that Roomba real quick. Yeah. What the hell? Is that serious Black? He who betrayed his friends was hot rods. Oh my god, dude. She just got possessed. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear boy. Did you say something? You, what? You can't just say sorry after that. Innocent blood will be spared. Sorry, dear boy. You all right? No, bitch. I am not. <laughs> More dark imagery about death. <laughs> Jesus, that's a large weapon. Ew, dude. There's so many people in this show that need dental care, like a lot of it. I can't believe they're going to kill Buckby. It's just too horrible. Ah, come to see the show. You, you foul, loathsome, them evil little cockroach. Hermione, no. <laughs> No, do it. Look at him. He's shitting himself. Malfoy, you're such a little bitch, dude. Do it, Hermione. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. <laughs> That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. Hey, that was awesome. I want to do that too, except then I would get a charge for assaulting a minor, but might be worth it. Oh, look at him. Loves the smell of the trees and the wind blows through him. Why don't we just set him free? I didn't know it was me. That is so sad. Please tell me they're not going to actually kill him. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Blimey. Who was that? Ow. What the hell? Oh my god, this giant axe is for the bird? I didn't think that was it. <sighs> but be cared enough to call the condemned. The condemned. Oh my god. Malfoy's dad, or Lu Lucius, needs a swift kick in the gooch, dude. I'm about tired of that dumbass. What? I thought I just saw. Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> hey, let him go, let him go. Ah, dude, I would just want to let him free. No. No. Seriously?
Seriously? They killed the Pegasus bird. <gasps> Ew. Bit me. You're, dude, you're gonna get the fucking bubonic plague, buddy. Nasty ass vermin. Harry, you do realize what tree this is? What tree is it? Harry, I'm hiding, run! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Harry! Oh, oh my God. Oh, wait. Ah! Hey, hey. <laughs> what is it wrong with Ron? Ah! Oh, shit. Come on. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. Where do you suppose this goes? I have a hunch. I just hope I'm wrong. Oh, is this where Sirius Black is? Or Peter Pettigrew? Oh, is that Sirius Black? Oh. oh, shit. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you! <laughs> Jesus, Harry. Are you going to kill me, Harry? Ew, I'm talking about dental work, dude. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Well, well, serious. Looking rather ragged, aren't we? Because <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I understand. Let's kill him. No! Oh my god. This thin mustached bastard has been a two timing bastard man? Come on, let's kill him. Oh my god, are you serious, dude? 12 years of it in Azkaban! Kill him. But wait one more minute. Harry has the right to know why. You betrayed my parents. You're the reason they're dead. No, Harry, it wasn't him. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. And he's in this room right now. Where? What? Vengeance is sweet. Our Snape. Are... Snape to the rescue? I told Dumbledore you were helping an old friend into the castle, and now here's the proof. Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set? I could do it, you know. You weren't supposed to tell anybody I call my dick my chemistry set. Snape. Expelliarmus! Oh. Hey, Wait, what? What did you just do? Why? You attacked a teacher! Tell me about Peter Pettigrew. Pettigrew's alive! And he's right there! Are, are, are we gonna see a floating fucking pinky or what? <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Harry, look at you. You look so much like your father, like James. We were the best of friends, How you know. Did? Ew, dude. You, look at your scalp. You sold James and Lily to Voldemort, didn't you? I didn't mean to. What would you have done? I would have died. I would have died rather than betray my friends. James wouldn't have wanted to be killed. Oh, Dad. Ew. Dad Spare these nuts, Peter. Dude, I'm confused. What the hell? Is Sirius Black bad? Are these guys wanting to kill Harry? Is Peter the... I said we take you to the castle. After that, the Dementors can have you. Ew. Something's really painful. So painful. They, uh, they might chop it. <laughs> you trying to impress Hermione, Ron? That was a noble thing you did back there. Well, I just didn't think my dad would have wanted his two best friends to become killers. Those are his dad's two best friends, okay. You won't let them give me to the Dementors, will you? I was your rat! Ew, what a weird sentence. Ron, I was your rat! Save me! Ew, dude. Meaning you saw everything the rat saw. Ron probably did some weird shit in the rat's presence. But if you ever wanted a different home, come and live with you. What? Yo! Harry! Honestly, uh, that's <laughs> way better than Petunia and the fat kid. This heart is where you truly live! This heart here! Oh. oh! Oh, no! Kill that little bastard! Oh, he turns into a werewolf or something? Uh, oh. Dude, that is a disgustingly long fucking gremlin lizard wolf. Again, Snake coming to the rescue. Okay, well. Holy shit. Come back here, Bowser. Oh, I hate hearing dogs cry like that. Hurts my heart. And that dog can die. Serious. Serious. Oh, 
Oh shit. Expecto Patronum! Holy shit, how many of those things are there? Ah! Oh my god. Does that eventually kill him or something? What the hell? Fuck. What the hell? A da damn polar deer. <gasps> what? No, they're not. <laughs> that they're dead, and that's the end of the series. I saw my dad. What? He sent the Dementors away. I saw him across the lake. Oh, that was your dad? Your dad's a, a deer? And Master, you've got to stop them. They've got the wrong man. It's true, sir. Sirius is innocent. It's Scabbers who did it. He's my rat, sir. He's not really a rat. Well, he was a rat. He... Run, get to the fucking point, dude. We're wasting time. Actually, yeah, he was giving me on my fourth birthday. Good day. Rainy, I think. Shut up, Ron. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. What? When in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. Good luck. <laughs> Dumbledore, why is everything a damn puzzle with you? Just tell me what to do. That is so cool. Went back in time. 7.30. Where were we at 7.30? Hermione, will you please tell me what it is we're doing? Oh, I want to see the show. You... We get to see her punch him again? Come on, I want to see it one more time. This is not normal. Oh, I wanted to see it. This... Good thing I can edit. What is a time turner, Harry? This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. Time. Oh, yes. that's why Ron's like, yo, where the hell did she come from? Clearly something happened. He wants us to change. Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> Thanks. Uh, a few more times would be good. What the hell? Remember what Dumbledore said. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. <gasps> oh. Oh, we get to save Buckbeat? Hell yeah. Here they come. I better hurry. Fudge has to see Buckbeat before we steal him. Oh, they threw... <gasps> Wait, the rocks? Fudge is coming. We aren't leaving. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was them. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's cool that we got a little bit more of the story. We got the parts that, that weren't filled in yet. Damn, when we were watching that part, I didn't think the rocks were their future selves. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? Oh, boy, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it all makes sense now. Never mind. Let's go. She thought she saw herself, and she's like, damn, am I just super narcissistic? Never mind. I didn't see anything. I do not. He's so cute! Ow. Fuck Ow. off, Crow! Come with us now, okay? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant fucking griffin bird, dude. Come and get the nice dead ferret! <laughs> Professor Dibbit had that ling planted when he was headmaster. Oh, yes! Indeed, oh, indeed. Dumbledore's the steering their attention away. Because he knows, right? This way. Let's get this over, please. All right. I saw the beast just now. Not a moment ago. How extraordinary. We must touch the grass. So touch the skies if you must, Minister. I'd like a nice cup of tea or <laughs> a large brandy. <laughs> How many of y'all say that when you get off work? I either need a cup of tea or a large brandy. <laughs> no small glasses. Big tea, big brandy, baby. Big dicks. What? Dumbledore. Actually, Dumbledore's not a kid, meaning we can make jokes. You know he's packing. You know he's got a prized hog down there. Now what? We save Sirius. How? No idea. Is gonna leave Buckbeat back? Buckbeat back? That's weird. Watch their future no, future please. selves be behind their future selves now behind a tree, watching their future selves watch their past selves, and it's just a fucking endless continuum? What the damn multiverse is happening? Oh, God. At least someone's enjoying himself. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's chilling. Down by the lake when I was with Sirius, it was my dad who conjured the Patronus. Sorry, your, your dad's dead, I know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Maybe it was a vision manifested from you, and it was actually your power. Let's go. Oh, wait. <gasps> by the by the river, it was Harry. Was it Harry who saved himself? Is the really powerful magical wizard Harry? I guess magical wizard is redundant, but. What are you doing? Saving your life. Great, now he's coming for us. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't question all these strange things happening. The fucking rock, Hermione turning around because she heard someone. And then the howls, I'm, I'm just going with the flow. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's probably right and accurate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. Thing is nasty as hell. <laughs> Buckbeak, let's go! Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, good. He actually got put to use. He's not just gallivanting in the woods eating bats. Dude, that is a terrifying sight. This is horrible. Don't worry. My dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. It's not gonna be your dad, it's gonna be you, dude. Right? Or am I a dumbass? I guess both can be true at once. Don't worry, he will. He will come. Serious. Patronum! It was him! Harry's the deer! I, I keep calling it deer because I forget the name of it. Patronus? Oh, shit. He looks back at Hermione. She's like... <laughs> All of her internal organs just relaxed because she's in so much awe that she's just ripping ass everywhere. What is it? What am I saying? More importantly, why are y'all still watching this? <laughs> you were right, Hermione. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. Oh, dude, this is unreal. It's like they were the heroes the whole time. I'll be forever grateful for this. To both of you. I want to go with you. One day, perhaps. For some time, my life will be too unpredictable. <laughs> He's just getting out of prison, Harry. He's gonna be doing all sorts of devious things. And you know it. But you look so like your father. Except your eyes. Yeah, I mean, my mother's eyes. <laughs> it's cruel that I got to spend so much time with James and Lily and you so little. The ones that love us never really leave us. Wow. Dude, that's so powerful. The ones that love us never leave us. A principle that we're all pretty familiar with, but that was just really eloquently put. That's so cool! Damn it, I want to ride one of those, man! We have to go. Oh, but they- oh. Wait, now my dumbass is just getting it. They were the ones that released him from prison. That's how he escaped. Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. Whoa, that just fucked my brain. Well? He's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. What? How did you get there? I was talking to you there. Hello <laughs> there. What's he talking about, Harry? Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? Uh... <laughs> Ron's just maxed out confused. I love it. I've looked worse, believe me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that night I met Rebecca. We stayed up all night doing blow. Lupin what? I resigned, actually. <gasps> he resigned? Parents will not want a, um, well, someone like me teaching their children. If I am proud of anything, it I'm is proud how of you. much you have learned this year. Yeah. Since I am no longer your teacher, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. <laughs> so now I'll say goodbye, Harry. No, dude, we like you. I feel sure we'll meet again sometime. I feel sure we'll meet again in the future. Okay, so we're gonna see him again. Wherever did you get it? Can I have a go, Harry? After you, of course. What are you talking what? about? What? Oh, his new, his new broom? What'd he get? The newest edition of the Nimbus? It's a firebolt. It's the oh. fastest broom in the world. <gasps> oh, shit. This came with it. I think we know who sent it. Maybe we don't. <laughs> so cool. What? I 
solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Oh no, I want more. Oh wow. How many years between each movie were there? I could easily look it up and I wanna see y'all comment down below because if y'all had to wait years and years to see the next movie, that sucks. I gotta wait weeks and I'm like, oh, well actually I don't, I just gotta wait weeks till we release it, but it's already too much. Are there any extra scenes or anything? Dude, the movies are getting so good. I, I totally understand what y'all are talking about when so many of you guys say that this is your favorite Harry Potter movie because what it did, for me at least, and I think that a lot of other people too, is it completely changed the tone, right? Different director, producer, whatever the fuck. Darker tone from every aspect of it. The lighting of the scenes, the colors used, the cinematics, the fucking music in the background. It had like this really dark but weirdly like artsy vibe to it so i totally commend the movie for doing that it just felt interesting the kids are teenage the, i mean they're not kids anymore they're teenagers right and then you have this super weird scary black evil spirits and you got serious black murderer on the loose like it's scary vibe dude but it's really cool i think that one of my favorite parts of this movie was like the two people that ping pong back and forth for me in terms of if i thought they were good or bad was serious black and then professor lupin it's like they were really cool in and of themselves but they serve like this bigger role I think because Harry didn't grow up with a dad they both had like that father-son vibe with Harry it was really really cool to see that I mean and then the, just the whole premise of Hermione and Harry going back in time and then being like the saviors of everything it was so cool a very well done story told in such a dark I just spit hella. Told in like such a dark way that is such a deviation from the first two movies. It's really cool and already my favorite movie so far out of the ones that I've seen. Not to discredit the first two because they were phenomenal, um, but this one just hits different. And then again, we're just adding more and more to the story, more to our knowledge, more to our understanding of the universe where it's like Harry has this new weapon, this fucking map that tells him where everybody is. So now he's got the cloak, he's got the map. It's ju It just keeps going and going. So good. And then also, I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, the first two movies, they were wearing like a lot of robes. It's like they had uniforms. Now there's like they're wearing jackets and hoodies and shit, which is more lax, I guess. It, it, I don't know what it does. I. I can see a lot of people being upset about that because it takes you a little bit more out of the world of Harry Potter. But that being said, they're more relatable. So I'm actually more inclined. I, I, I prefer that. And, and most importantly, we got more answers to questions that we had, I guess, or that y'all already know, but questions that I had. Like, now I know how Voldemort killed Harry's parents. Fucking Peter Pettigrew's dumb rat ass. And then also one of my favorite things about the movie, sorry, I'm all over the place. There's so many cool things to talk about. Was Beat, what's the, what's the bird? The fucking... Badass, majestic eagle bird, Buckbeak. So cute, so badass, so majestic. Guys, I am loving this journey so far. I wanna say thank y'all so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to check out these movies with me. It's fun, man. It makes me feel like I'm watching these movies with all of you guys right now. Really cool, man, so I appreciate that. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys, peace. Don't